Our first step in downloading content from D2L to our local computer is to click on the content tool and then go to manage files and click on manage files. This will bring up our file editor. So we'll see our list of folders on the left hand side and we'll see our list of files in the center. You'll want to click on the checkbox at the top of the file list in order to select all of the files within the course and then we're going to choose the tool zip files to create a local copy of those files. The file download prompt will appear. On that screen choose the save button and then you will be asked for a target directory under the Save As menu. Um, I'll choose one that has my courses in it and then I'll normally change the file name to something more meaningful. And once I've updated the file name then I can press Save and then the download panel will appear showing our progress of download. When the download is complete, then choose the open button to open the zip archive. So you'll notice that we are in the file viewer, that the address bar indicates that we have a zip folder and then within the screen is the list of files. We'll next need to extract these files so we can either choose from the folder tasks extract all files or we can go into the menu structure and choose file extract all. This will give us the extraction wizard and within the extraction wizard we'll want to click on the next button on the opening screen. We're then prompted if we want to select a destination. So we do have the option to select a different destination than what is uh, shown. I normally however choose the default path as presented. Then click on the next button. Files will be extracted. We can then show the extracted files by checking that checkbox and click on finish. And then our file list appears. You'll notice that these are actual files because in the address bar we have a directory path and not a zip file folder. So now our files have been downloaded to our computer and we can edit them directly.